Hello guys, so welcome back to a brand new video here today, my friends. Today we're going to be playing some more Beyond Two Souls. This is part five to my playthrough on this game now. I'm absolutely loving this game, and I'm looking forward to seeing what's next within the story. I'm not sure how many more parts is going to be, but I'm looking forward to it, and I'm hoping today we can try and make a good, lengthy playthrough on today's part. Hopefully. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm recording. Let's do this. I concentrate, Jody. Tell me if you feel anything in particular about any of these objects. Hmm. Can you see anything, Aiden? Thank you, Dad. It's so pretty. Open it. her music box. Laura. Guess how she's door. Yeah. Nathan? Okay, I'll tell him. Nathan! Someone named Ryan Clayton is here to see you. He says you know what it's about. Yes. I'll be back in a moment. Mm-hmm. Do what you need to do, Professor. No, oh, Doctor. Right, let's have a... little peek on that conversation. I want to know what's going on. Hey, where are you going? Aren't you going to wait <clears> for Nathan? Nah, screw that. I'll do my own thing. What's what's going on, Nathan? You you look upset. Jody. This is Ryan Clayton from the CIA. The agents. The agency wants you to join their military school program at Camp Perry. Ryan's gonna take care of you from now on. You have to go with him, Jody. Today. Why, though? I don't understand. Why me? This unit belongs to the CIA. They've been tracking your case ever since you arrived. They know what you and Aiden can do. I am not a child. I can make my own decisions. No one can force me to go. Okay, Jody, I know. It's difficult, but you need to understand this is a great opportunity for you. Want well, to join the CIA I'm or something? Just you know what's best, and I'm, I'm just supposed to shut up and obey orders? Jesus, listen up, Miss Holmes. I don't give a shit about your pathetic adolescent pouting, all right? You can rant and rave all you want, but you'll shut your mouth and do as you're told. Jody. Jody, stop immediately. She doesn't want to leave Nathan and Cole. Especially with after what her parents did to her, just abandon her oh, with the uh, Nathan. <laughs> it must be difficult for her. Only the essentials. 
We've got everything you need at Camp Perry. It's okay, Jody. We're going to be able to do this. Whether in this CIA or whether this Camp Perry thing is or what, we will do this, okay? Just need to be strong, need to focus, and just need to figure out what the hell is going on and why we need to go to the this Camp Perry place. Need to put my rabbit in the bag if it lets me. Or is there any other things we can pick up? Hang on. I need to pick up a few things. I've got my bag, but I've got nothing in it, so I need to stock up on a few items. Um I don't know what sort of things you're gonna need. Obviously, I'm guessing the rabbit is an iconic thing of a childhood, so the rabbit was is one of them things that kind of needs to go with it. Is there anything else we need to take? With Nathan and Cole. We we'll take that with us. And obviously clothes. She's gonna need some clothes, you know what I mean? Let's just take everything we need, things that we like. It's okay, Jody. It's okay. Right, I think we're okay now. I think we're done. And the rest of the things we could just I think we can just leave them. In case we do come back, you never know. There could be a point where we just get bored of that place and come back, or maybe Nathan or Cole can drop the remaining stuff afterwards or something. I don't know. Let's go. you too, Carl. I'll come and see you as soon as I can. I'll never let you down. You know that, don't you? I'll always be there for you. I appreciate you, Nathan. We're saying goodbye to our second home, you know what I mean? Our first home we said goodbye to as a child. Then we're saying goodbye, goodbye to the base. You know what I mean? And Nathan and Cole. And... Man, I just want to see what this Camp Perry thing's all about. I'm hoping it's going to be a good place. I don't want to be in some like danger or anything. I'm hoping it's going to be good. But I just want to say, guys, I really am enjoying the story to this game. This game's amazing, literally. I love games like this. And I'm hoping that moving forward... We could do more games like this in the future on the channel. Yeah. Jody. Hey, 
Hey, it's, it's Ryan. Ryan. I was just wondering if you got my email. What, 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 what email? The one I sent three days ago. Ah, you know, okay. I've, I've actually been having problems with my computer. What, what was the email about? Dinner, tonight, fancy restaurant. <laughs> anyway, it, it's too late now, so maybe another time? Shit. Shit, I'm so sorry. I... You, no, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so... Uh, sure, but I... How about around eight? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a kick-ass bottle of wine. See you later. Oh, I think she's getting excited. She's having like a dinner date? Now I get why you blasted my computer. You didn't want me to see Ryan. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. Fuck this. Fuck this! We're not gonna start this again. I'm not yours, Aiden. I can have a relationship with whoever I want. This is my life. Oh, do you fucking hear me? This is my life. You know what? I happen to think Ryan is great. He's charming, he's intelligent, he's funny. And I think I'm falling for him. Oh. Okay. Okay. It's seven o'clock. I have an hour to make dinner, tidy up, and make myself look. All right, let's do this then. Oh, she's going on a dinner date, boys. To be fair, I'm hoping that Aiden doesn't want to mess things up because the fact is, you know, this is probably Books. important to her. Okay, on the bookshelf. Yeah, where's the book? Oh, I'm sorry, I was going to say where the bookshelf is. I think it's going to be around the other side. One sec. Okay, great. All right. Um, we need to make sure everywhere is tidy, though, and then we can get dressed and get ourselves sorted. All right, dirty clothes in the basket in the bathroom. Okay, so laundry basket. All Plop right, them in there. there. Is there anything else we need to tidy up? Really, Aiden? Why do you have to be such a douchebag? <clears throat> this is important. We haven't got time to be playing games, okay? We need to... She needs to get her stuff together. Aiden, this is going to be important. Right. Pizza box? Oh my God. There's some rubbish. Oh my God, the dinner. Okay, there's, there's got to be something in the kitchen. The trash can in the kitchen. All right. Um. Right. I gotta find something I can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. Asian beef. Huh? I mean, that looks good. It's not too complicated. Okay, what else is there? Chicken with oven baked vegetables. Mm. It'll take some time in the oven, but it seems doable. Okay, what else? Pizza delivery. It's not exactly gourmet, but it, it, no preparation, no mess. I mean, it could be an option. Mm. I can go with pizza. I think pizza, pizza. would be good. I mean, it's it's the easy way out, but he's not gonna mind. No, I'll call him. So, let's just hope he likes pizza. 
You know, you're wasting your time, Aiden. You're not going to stop me from seeing Ryan. <laughs> right. Let's move these computer games, controllers, and stuff under the under the cabinet. <laughs> Sneaky. I like it. Um, right. So it looks tidy around here. Things look good. Uh, I'm just trying to think. I do need to get up though. I think watch a little bit of TV. See if there's anything on. Just to fight. No, I mean, you could have watched a cool movie, but I'll wait for this Ryan guy to turn up. Right, it's called Ryan. Oh, good God, I know the number by heart. Hey, yeah, um, could I get a large pizza? The, um, I thought we were ringing Ryan. Ryan. Um, like 8, 8.15. Yeah. Uh, 6192 Columbus Street. Yeah, the ninth floor. Okay, cool. Great, thanks. Okay, so that's food or did you even know we're supposed to ring Ryan? But at least we're gonna eat. Okay. Camera angle's a little bit funky, but still. Um, I think we need to move that knackered computer, don't you think? Can we move the computer? Because it's kind of broken. Um, okay, maybe not. Right, so I think what we should do next is... Damn it. Oh, crap. Crap, he's early. I'm coming! Yeah, just hang on for a sec, please. I need to get dressed. Uh, wait, what? What was that? All right. I think it might have been Aiden when it's under pressure, so we can't go to the door. Uh, we need to get dressed because the thing is, he's gonna see us just sitting around pretty much in his underwear, and obviously, yeah. We gotta look presentable, you know what I mean? This guy's from the CIA. If it's the same guy, you know what I mean? It could be a completely different guy, but it did sound like the same guy that we saw in the previous part, which is obviously in the past, if that makes sense. Oh, crap. Do I have to right, where do we a wear? first? Uh, probably not. What should I wear? Something sexy? Why not? Oh, hi, Ryan. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> Hot. He is gonna see a whole new side of me. Okay. Wasn't what I had in mind, but okay. You might as well just give up, Aiden. Okay? This date is going on. Period. <laughs> but still, like in the outfit. Okay, so we can't go to the door. Do we have enough time to make sure everything's all tidy and neat and presentable? Um, just trying to check if there's anything else around here. Ah, okay. Cookery. So you put some plates out, some knife and forks, and glasses. Um, right. Some candles. Lighten up the moment to make it nice and hot. You know what I mean? Get a little, a little bit, a little bit of romance in the atmosphere. Come on, Aiden. Oh. Huh. Yeah, that's very funny, Aiden. 
Come on, don't be a douchebag. Just let, just let the candles stay lit. Wow, it's very romantic. <laughs> right, okay, so still can't go to the door. It must not be here yet. Um, bedroom. Anything else we can do? Okay, so we can't put any more clothes on. I'm going to have time for a shower. Um, and if he is there, really, then he's going to have to wait. Okay, so we don't need to go to the toilet. I don't think there's anything else we can interact with. I'm not too sure. Looking good, Jody. Looking good. Right. What's next? Um, right. Need to make sure everything's all sorted in here so there's no mess or anything. Because, you know, we don't need that. Almost 8 o'clock. So the guy should be turning up here. Um. Hang on, why is this camera angle playing up? Uh, right. I'll have a quick sip. Boost up your confidence a little bit, girl. That's it. Don't want to get plastered, you know what I mean? Because that's not the good option. If you're going to go on a date with somebody, don't get plastered. Because, yeah, you probably end up puking on them. So... I always recommend, this is my personal tip, if you feel a bit nervous about a date, then have a little bit of alcohol just to settle the nerves because you've mainly most people tend to feel quite confident when they've had a little bit of a drink, but then leave it as that, okay? Don't go over, to, over the top, okay? This is this Ryan guy. All right, I'm going to come let you in. I'm coming. I didn't behave yourself. This is important to me, and I'm counting on you. <laughs> uh, Chateau Margot, 2001. The guy in the store said it was a pretty good year. That sounds good to me. So. <sighs> why, why don't you sit? Um, I'll get the, um, the thing that opens the wine. <laughs> All right. So we need a bottle opener. Cool apartment. Huh? Yeah, thanks. I didn't. For fuck's sakes. All right. Please behave yourself, Aiden. Alright, let's go in the cupboard. Bottle opener. Two glasses. Come on, Aiden. Please play nice. Don't want you to do nothing to him. Do you want me to open it? No, no, I'll do it. Come up. There we go. <laughs> to your new apartment. Cheers. To my new apartment. <laughs> oh, so when did you move in? Um, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, the agency found it for me and all furnished and everything, which is actually the first place I've ever had just by myself so it's weird getting used to the idea of it so I'm guessing we have the choice as I did to whether destroy the state or just let you? the where, date where settle live? which oh, I'm gonna let it settle I'm gonna help Jody out with this one small but you know it's got a little garden and it's pretty quiet 
And did you, did you grow up here? Or? No, no, I, I was born in Oregon. Now my parents and brother still live there, but I, I moved out when I was 16. 16? Oh. Did you get, get kicked out or something? Uh, well, things were pretty chaotic at home. My, my stepfather liked to beat me when he had too much to drink, and uh, I just decided to get out before one of us went too far. Um, how did you end up joining the CIA? I, uh, I went through college, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Uh, tried the army. You know, looking for the action, travel, adventure, <laughs> long enough to realize that wasn't for me. <laughs> and when a CIA agent recruiter approached me, I, I jumped at it. Hold on. Hey, how's it going? All right. You keep the change. Thanks. I ordered pizza. I, 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 I hope that's... No, pizza's good. Don't sweat it. I love pizza. So we've been working together now for what? what two years? I know almost nothing about you. Well, I mean, there's nothing much to say. You know, I, I grew up with my parents on the DPA campus, and then, and then Nathan looked after me, and well, I mean, you pretty much know the rest. So. Yeah, your parents. Do you, uh, you still see them? No. No, I don't. I'm... I think they were just terrified about how different I was. So, Nathan and Cole, they, they brought me up, more or less. They taught me how to cope with Aiden, how to accept myself as I am. I mean, it wasn't always easy, but you know, I'm making progress. Yeah, did, did Nathan ever manage to explain to you why you have this link with Aiden? No. I mean, not really. I mean, they learned a lot of stuff about the infra world. Really not much about Aiden. I mean, I, I don't think even he knows who or what he is. <laughs> it's like, is he here now, you know, listening to us? And... Yeah. Yeah, he never leaves me. Uh, what about you? Do you have Do you have any family here? No, no. My uh, my parents are still in Oregon. Go to see them as little as possible. <laughs> and are you um? Are you married or anything? No, no. I, I, yes, I mean I. I I was. You know, my ex-wife and I have been separated for uh, two years. And, uh, yeah, it couldn't work. I mean, it, in the end, it didn't. You know, we had our good times, but uh, eventually we decided to go our separate ways. How about you? Anyone on your radar? I've got Aiden, so. I mean, anyone in our world. You know, Aiden kind of has always made people run away. Or, or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just too odd for anyone to be interested in. You're special, Jody. Aiden's got nothing to do with this. Oh, we'll go for the kiss. Oh, way to go, Jody. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This is going to turn into probably an explicit scene. So, for my younger viewers. If you don't want to see this sort of stuff, I recommend you look away. 
but normally I'm guessing Aiden wouldn't approve of this moment. But at the end of the day, Jody needs to have a life other than having an entity attached to her. I'm I'm not gonna do nothing. See, if I wanted to, I could use Aiden to do something, but no, it's let them at the moment. Dirty girl had a wicked way. <laughs> Seems more happy. Thank you. We've let her do her own thing, which, to be honest, eats one of them things. I can imagine from her perspective, if you've got an entity that just comes in between anything that gets a part of your life, whether it's your family, your friends, or boyfriends, or anything like that, then, you know, it's going to be a thing that just having that one moment in your life that you can share with another person and be able to enjoy life for that moment without the entity getting involved, I think it's important to us. So that's why I didn't want to get involved in it. I could have, but nah. Jody has a moment. Going back to being younger, Jody again. I'm sorry, I was concentrating on my work. I know you've had a long day. Hey, this morning I bought your book. What do you say we get you tucked in and I read to you? Yes, please. <laughs> I must have left it in the other room. Why don't you go in there and get it? I'll finish up here and then we can go, okay? Sure, I'm on it. Okie dokie, Nathan. <laughs> It's quite dark in this room. All right, is that a light switch on? Where did he leave that book? It's gonna be around here somewhere. Stop it, Aiden. It's not funny. All right, I think I found it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, I got it. Let's get the book. Let's get out of here. This ring gives me the heebie-jeebies, you know what I mean? Why did we just see bodies? That was weird. Are we seeing like people from the dead or something? <laughs> you found it. Now we can get down to the serious business of bedtime stories. Who the hell are them people? Jody, you okay? I look pale. She looks dead tired is how she looks. Come on, Nathan, let's get her up to bed. Yes, hold on. Nathan, it's for you. 
Nathan Dawkins. You okay, Nathan? Nathan? Nathan, what's up? My wife. Like they were coming back from their mothers. Truck. Drunk driver. Wrong side of the road. Let's get you up to bed. Nathan, stay right here. I'll be right back. Come on, Joe. Poor Nathan. Just lost his wife and his child. I can imagine the pain that he's going through right now. He lost the two important things that mattered the most to him. Poor guy. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. He commands a heavily armed militia, using it to control several important districts in the city, which means none of our humanitarian aid is getting through. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. Uh, he relocates twice a day. Last time we pinpointed him was at the Zanaki Hotel, which is right here. Not much of a okay. chance he's still there, but it's as good a place as any to start looking. Okay, I'm on it. No direct engagement with the enemy. No backup. You identify and eliminate your target, then activate your GPS beacon so we can extract you. We need to get you out before sunrise, so don't waste any time. No problemo. Now, the last American soldier that was captured here was pulled through the city behind a jeep. And they found his head, one of his legs in a fishing boat. I wouldn't recommend it. I'll be back before they even realize what's happening. All right, loved ones, just gotta focus on the mission, okay? Don't worry. I'll be fine. Do this. Bravo six, going dark, my friends. Going dark. <laughs> Literally, it's the first thing that came to my mind. Is that quad? Uh, not, not quad. That Call of Duty um, meme for Modern Warfare. direct engagement with the enemy, no backup. Check that there are no soldiers around, Aiden. Alright, let's look around. Okay, near people. Okay, there's two soldiers. No direct engagement, so I need to sneak up. This is going to be a stealth mission. So it's like we did in the training. We've just got to make sure that we take this nice and easy. No rushing. And hopefully we can get out alive. Go 
Come on, Jody, we can do this. Let's see where the enemy is. Right, the enemy is approaching. Right. Let's go for the takedown. Are you ready? Let's proceed up. Be really quiet. Right, I don't see any enemies, so I think just might be okay. I would recommend moving bodies, but if we can make it through, then I think we should be alright. Just want to see if there's an enemy up here. Right, got an enemy right there. Do you want to take him out, Aiden? Where they go hiding. Right, I think the coast is clear right now, so I think we should be okay. Right. Just want to look around just in case there's anything we need to pick up or interact with. That's alright, that's alright. Alright, can we go anywhere else? I think it's only this way we can go. Have a look around. Alright. I I need you to uh I might need you to do something about all this rubbish that's in front of me. All this rubble, get rid of it. Hopefully that hasn't attracted a lot of attention, fingers crossed. I'm just going to scout the area of the island just so that I could see where the enemies are. If there is any enemies lurking around in this particular area. See boys, you have to think very strategic about these sorts of things. Think tactical. You have to think about how you're going to position yourself and where to go. See if you find anything. Well... The hotel's over there, I think. Great, yeah, great. there's the hotel. Go, go. Oh, enemy on the roof over here. Right, I think the coast is clear right now. Go, 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 go. Stay in cover. Alright, I need to move up. Go, 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 go. Keep an eye out for more vehicles and more troops in the area. Right, I'm going to position myself up here a little bit. Let's move towards this wall. Alright, got a few guards down there. Let me get myself to the boards. Ooh. It's risky, it's very risky. Right. I'm gonna scout the area, let's see where let's see what's around here. I might be able to push around on that position if I can get myself onto that wall. But there is quite a few guards around that area, so I don't want to risk running into open fire just in case something happens. Just need to improvise and think how oh, I'm going to position myself with this. There must be alternative routes, I'm guessing. Maybe we can jump over a fence or go for a building or something. But I just want to be nice and slow with this approach. We don't want to be attracting too much attention. Right, so I'm going to get myself into position. Right, I need to get down. Keep moving. Nice and easy. Right, quick. Oh, enemy.
enemies coming. I could probably take this guy down. Let's go for it. It's all good, it's all good. No, I can't see any enemies around in this area. I think we're clear to engage. I don't th okay, we can't go over that fence. Or that one. Uh, let's keep going to the end here. See if we can go. Ready, Ayn? Take control of his body. Do what you need to do, okay? Let's do this. Right, is there any of the guards in the area? don't think there is. I think the coast is clear right now, so I think we should be okay. Ooh. Right. Let's keep going, keep going. Right, is any other enemies in the area? I think the coast is clear. Move, 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 move. Alright, go towards that wall. Down to the wall. Come on. This is an Aki Hotel. Right, let's check the area, okay? Scout the area to see if we can find anything. Okay, so I can't see any guards, so the coast seems clear in my ass. We've got guards way up ahead, but I don't think we need to go that far, especially if the hotel's only here. So I'm going to push in towards the hotel. Alright, let's go have a little look around. Alright, I'm going to go for the staircase. Gonna take it nice and slow. Okay. Oh, damn it, gotta go up there. Yo, bro, you okay? Easy boys. Right, I don't think any more guards are in the area. I think the coast is clear. <sighs> Go, 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 go. Nice and easy. They've gone. Maybe we could find some clues about what's going on here. There might be something around in the area, maybe. Or something that might give me any clues, or a picture, or anything. Just something that can help me. Come on, Aiden. Okay, so that's all going to be our next location. Is there anything else in the area that we can use for our advantage to try and track down our target? Come on. 
wrong. He was here. Right. Don't think there's anything else we can interact with. I think it's all good. I think we got as clues that we need. Like I said, I'm just going to have a little scar around, just have a nosy, see what we can see. Got a fire here as well. Just looking around, just in case. Ready, Aiden? Give me some more clues about what's going on here. Come on. I think we got his information we need now. So now we've got to make his way over the, to that area that we needed to go to. Right, I need to... I was wondering, can I take control of any of these guys? No, it might not be the best option. I might need to take him down one by one, or sneak past them all, if I'm able to. Because, to be fair, there's like five of them, so I need to be really careful how I approach this situation. So if I take him down, there's always a risk. Especially when they've got a, a vehicle with a turret on it. There's two guards over there as well. Doesn't look like we can go that way either. There might be a chance of it. Oh, it's risky. It's risky. Um, I don't know how to approach this. There's a ladder over there. Maybe we can go that way. But I'm going to check over. Let's have a look. Over here. Sneak around. Nice and easy. Go up the ladder. Come on, Jody. Up the ladder. Alright, stick to the rooftops. Alright, take the guard. We need to take the guard. Quite a few guards down there. I need to be careful. Right, Judy. How are we going to approach this situation? We've got quite a few good men down there. We've got one below us. We've got two guys on the far left on the streetway. And probably half a dozen more leaking around the area near my look. I'm going to jump down now. Let's try and get down there. Ooh, we could probably jump attack this guy. In hopes that someone may not see him go down. But the thing is, there's a chance they could see that. Oh, man. I'm going to have to risk it for a biscuit. If we jump on him, there's a chance we could get spotted. Ooh. Hang on. Let's take this guy out first. Um, and we need to take. Oh no, we can't. Damn, there's a lot of guards here. 
Uh, okay, I'm gonna risk it. Okay, I'm gonna jump on him. Three, two, one. Hang on. Yeah, definitely gotta go this way. Let's do it. Ah, okay, clever. Dropping him into the shadows. I like it. Well done, Jody. Well, not exactly shadows. He looks like he's having to lie down, if anything. But how do we get past all them guards, though? Eh, uh, I think we got to go this way. Right, Aiden, I need you to scout out the area, okay? Let me know what's up ahead. Okay, it looks the coast looks clear. So I'm going to proceed up ahead, see where this leads to. Okay, okay. Go, 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 go. There's God over there. Alright, I need to distract this guard. Alright, bro. Right. Right, we need to move. Keep moving, keep moving. Go, 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 go! Nice! Alright, Jody, keep moving, keep moving. Alright, we've got a few guards up ahead. Need to be really careful now how I do this. Like, how the hell am I supposed to approach this situation? Uh, oh my god, I don't know how I'm going to do this, boys. Maybe we can get to the rooftops or something. Or maybe we can have like a modern warfare moment where we climb underneath the car. I don't know. It's a tricky situation now. Can we go round? No. What the hell do I need to do? Okay, so we can't go over there either. We definitely gotta go this way. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't end up killing me. Glass bottle behind us. Kill this guy. Right, let's get back in. Alright, let's cut, try and cut myself free. Come on, Aiden. 
I'm hoping he can try and help me with this situation because I don't know how we're going to get out of this one on his own. Do this. At least we're still alive, which is a good sign. I literally thought they could have ended up killing us. I thought it was going to be mission failed, to be honest, when he when he ended up capturing us. But mission's still a go. take control of any of these guys? No? They're just going around killing anything they see. Absolute scumbags. What the hell's this? Right, I need to move up ahead now. Get myself into a better position. Should be okay. Um, hang on. Go, 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 go. From where did I see it in my vision? They came here. Right, scout the area for clues and see what we can find here. bodies in here as well. This was the map I swear we saw when he was in that um, hotel in the vision. I think it's the same hotel. I think it's the same map. I'm not sure. I swear there was a map. for that tower down the bottom. Right. What about the body? Who's this poor guy that sees to end it? Who saw the end of his fate? So we need to make our way over to that tower. We still need to keep a low profile though. So I need to just keep moving. And just try and keep an eye out for enemies. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video so far guys. If you are, then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Let me know your overall thoughts and opinions. What do you think of Beyond Two Souls? Are you enjoying the playthrough here on the channel? Let me know. Right. Okay, we might have to go through this building. Just gonna keep my head down. Keep a low profile, Jody. Let's do this. I'm 
I'll tell you what though guys, I really am enjoying this part so far though. It's not as good as it was with the previous part with the ritual and everything. And the Yatsu, um, like, spirit entity. But this part so far is pretty interesting. Someone's in pain. as well. Come on, Aiden. Can we heal this guy? We got company. We got company, boys. Time to engage in open combat. Ah, oh, great. You ready for this one? I'm gonna go on a kill streak right now. Come on, Aiden. I don't think I can reach. Can I reach that far? Alright, I've got to get closer. Alright, I need to get into a better position. Um, go. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a guy there on the left. I can't believe I've got a little boy on my team who's holding an AK. Go on, little boy. You could do it. I'm trying to think how I'm going to do this. I need to get rid of that guard on the left. I'm sorry, my friend, but you need to die. Come on. There we go. Take him down. Right, uh, we need to move into a better position because we need to get closer so we can engage with the target at the bottom where the car is. Hopefully I'm close enough. Come on, Aiden, take control of this guy. Jody. Oh no, no, no. Ah, 
No, no, no. Oh no, no, no. I didn't please help me. That's where I need to go. What have I got to lose? All right, kid. Lead the way. Let's do this. Keep your head down, okay? Let's go, let's go. Woo! They've got a tank and everything. This is like third person Call of Duty Modern Warfare sort of style. You know what I mean? I've got a little boy. Little boy with a AK 47 as my kill streak. <laughs> Me and my little bro are gonna do this. Let's do this, boys. Let's do it. Where'd you go? Oh. Okay, you're over there. Wait up, kid. Dead easy to lose track of. Oh, great. Are you okay? I thought it was going to be an enemy threat then. Need to do something about all these enemies. Um. Oh no, maybe not. We maybe we can go around them. Let's go. Just keep moving, kid. Oh great. We're going straight through. Stay close, okay? Damn it. I tried to activate my little shield thing that I didn't can do, but literally the bot hit me too quick. Kid. Go on, up, get up. Alright, let's do this. We need to move, we need to move now. Come on, we're almost there now. Keep moving. Yo, people got rocket launchers. We need to be careful, boys. Otherwise, we're going to get blown to smithereens. Right, is there any other enemies in the area we can, like, take out or use to our advantage? Run, people. Just get out of here. Right, 
go, 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 go. Get rid of him. All right. You ready for this one, Aiden? I'm ready for a treat. Take control of this guy. Go sell it to the driver. How you doing, bro? Right, if you don't mind, I want to take possession of your vehicle. When your license and registration, please. I want to take possession of your vehicle. I'm going to turn this game into GTA right now. Let's do this. Get in the back of the vehicle. Come on, in you go. Come on. You need to stay down. Take it slow, Eddie. We'll try to get by without being noticed. Nice and easy. Come on. We can do this. So far, so good. Oh no, there's guards up ahead. do this. You go, girl. Go on. Come on. Piece of me. Oh, no, 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 no. Go away. I thought we were dead then. Fair play. They didn't see us. Are you okay, Salim? Tayeb, Tayeb. Lemuza B8 Aza. This is where we have to go our separate ways. I must go. Do you understand, Salim? Lana Trukuki. You can't get back out with Lajani Boki. I'm sorry, but you can't come with me. You're really brave, Salim. 
Someday, this is all gonna be over. And you can just go back to being a kid. لك حد انكست يا حياتي لن انسى فعلك حد ابدا Thanks for the assist, little boy. Appreciate it. Made a good team. You know what I mean? I mean, this kid did. See you around, kid. Jamal was around right. here somewhere. I don't have much time. We need to focus on the mission, okay? Back to what matters. Got guards up ahead still. The guards probably think I'm dead, so I want to try and keep a low profile. Nice and easy. Push up. Let's move in. Alright. Easy. Come on. Nice and easy. Surprise that guard didn't hear me then. Should I take him? I think I should take him. I don't think he's going to turn around, so. I could take him and preferably try and dump his body near the alleyway. Skills got skills, I'll give her that. Jamal's here. Now find a place close to the house where I can take cover. Right. Let's get in here. You know what you have to do. Find your mom, I didn't like That's him. That's I won't be able to get close enough. You're gonna have to do it, I didn't. Okay. We need to improvise then. So we can't just blast our way in or shoot everything that's in our sight. We need to uh, improvise and keep our low profile. So it's got to be something we can do. Uh. Oh, 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 hello. Ah, okay. You alright, boys? Don't mind me, I'm just gonna pop inside. Oh, I can't go inside with a scar. Uh. God, we need to improvise. Okay, so we can kill this guy though. Um, ooh. Okay. Take control of this guy. Maybe this will increase my chances of getting inside the building. Good, good. Now find a weapon. Alright, I'll find one. Don't mind me. Um, do any boys have a weapon? I'm just wondering. In case I need to investigate the area. Alright. It's a nice gun you got there. Nice. Good way of improvising. Orders are orders. The guy's got blood on his hands. He deserves to die. Come on. I can do this. I can kill him. I can kill him.
right, come on. Come and open the door for me. I need to confirm that your mom is dead. Hurry! Hurry. I'll open it now, okay? Chill. <sighs> definitely dead. Targets are definitely going to be dead. Where is Jamal's body? Ah, I think it's this guy. He's gonna let me interact with his body? Okay, so we can't interact with any of them. Hang on. That little boy? Salim? Are you okay? Abi! Abi! La! La ta mucha Abi! Ana bi hara ilayka! La ta trukni! La ta trukni! He's your father? Oh! We must have fought you, Salim! Bakar tu ana kisati kachi! That's insane. <laughs> Poor kid. I'm sorry, okay? I, d I didn't know it was your father. It's just one of them things, unfortunately. Fuck. Oh, great. Fuck, we gotta get out of here. Oh, great. The whole town knows I'm here. I need to move, I need to move. Get in the house, quickly! Move, move, move! I'm so glad when it comes to the... Like, the entity sort of ability things you can do when it comes to healing stuff that you can do it one-handed. Because I know that mainly you have to do it two hands, but I can do it with one hand because how big my hands are. I can stretch my one hand all the way across my controller. And then move my analogs, which I think is pretty cool. Dear God. Uh, why did we get ourselves into this mess? Come on, I need to get out of here. No, no, Jody. Do not shoot yourself. No, I'm not gonna die here. Not like this. There's gotta be a way. Think! Think! Oh 
There's gotta be a way. There's gotta be something. Come on, Jody, we need to think, we need to think. We need to get out of here right like, right now. Or we're gonna be dead. Get up and then get out of here like right now. Come on. Come on, Jody. Move. We're going to be dying. We're going to be dead. We're so dead. We're so dead. We're screwed. Oh, thank God for this. At least we managed to make it out alive though which is always a good thing hopefully you all enjoyed the video guys so far it's been a blast so far literally it's been a really really good episode well a good part and i'm really i'm enjoying Ten it years in the CIA. never seen anything like it the boss sends his own private helicopter to get an agent back all the top brass are crazy about you jody you and Iden, of course jody you okay Listen, I know this one was tough, but it's over. We're going home. It's just another mission accomplished, right? I'll never forget what I saw back there, Ryan. Never. How's your leg? Better when this painkiller kicks in. You okay, Charity? And the international community had just announced its official recognition of the election of the new president, Jamal Sheikh Sharif. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. And now, sources report that he and all his government were assassinated in what appears to be an unclaimed attack. We have to find Jamal and eliminate him. Hopes were high that the newly recognized President Jamal Sharif would be able to put an end to the hostilities that have ravaged his country for many years. A number of world leaders have already expressed outrage at what appears to be nothing less than a cold-blooded execution. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. <laughs> What are you talking about? Jamal wasn't a warlord. He was the president. He was the democratically elected president. Your point? We're not politicians, we had our orders. You knew I wouldn't have murdered him. So you lied to me. Welcome to the CIA, Jody. 
Not fucking choir practice in case you haven't noticed. Now we had a job to do and we did it. End of story. This might just be a fucking job to you, okay? But I don't go around killing people because some poor fucking star general tells me to. What's going on? Joe, listen, listen, you calm down. All right, we'll get back home and we'll talk about it, okay? You manipulated me. You used me to do your dirty work. What difference does it make? Jody, he was a dead man walking with or without you. I have blood on my hands. Some kid lost his father because of me. Because I trusted you. Because I trusted we were doing the right thing. So we're back clashing with the CIA now. A toy? Some fucking puppet that you can just do whatever you want with? We're getting massive turbulence. What? I can't, I can't control it. Did you also lie to me that night in my apartment? Jordan, for God's sake, you're gonna kill us. No one's ever gonna lie to me again, Ryan. Jordan! Fuck! So we've backlash with the CIA now. And I can't believe that, though. That's mad that he sent us in to kill a president. She loved the guy as well. Nathan Dorkins. They used me to kill those people. Johnny, what happened? I didn't know. I didn't know. I, I was just doing what I was told. Where are you? Is Clayton with you? No. No. No, I ran away. You can't run away from them. They'll hunt you down and they'll find you. You've got to come in, Jody. We'll talk. I'm sure... Oh, it's over, Nathan. Through being a toy. You tell them that if they try to find me, I'll kill them. Jody, listen... Tell them, Nathan. Poor Jody. She seems like she's in a constant mess, you know what I mean? It's just. It's mad. Goes from being a little girl that has an ability that scares a family to get stuck with a professor, which then ends up giving it to the CIA, and then the CIA end up using her to kill presidents and do some mad missions, and then we end up running away from the CIA. This is just mad. Wait, it's a really good story, though. And I just hope that each and every one of you out there are enjoying it. Uh, we're an hour and 38, nearly 39 minutes into it now. And I'm going to go for around about the two-hour marker, if I can. And then we'll call it an end, okay? That's Cole. <clears throat> What a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. A little sad and lost. Like the first time I saw you. I can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's Ida? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried. They're looking for you. I had to run away. I mean, I had no choice. How's Nathan? Oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. <laughs> it's come a long way since the days of our little lab. And you? What are you working on? I'm running a small group. We're trying to classify types of entities, see if they're different species, that kind of thing. It's not the highest priority, but I get to do what I want. Have they made any progress on the infra world? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser, the most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. What I talked to you about, 
find out anything? <clears throat> On the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. Where? And who's Nora? What else did you learn about her? Not much. All I know is that she took part in a DPA research program some 20 years back. She also had a gift. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. My mother's locked up in a mental hospital. I'm sorry, Jody. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I'd look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. She's in a high security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. A huge risk for Amy. Thank you, Colt. He always kept his promise. He'll always be there. At least we now we know that woman at the beginning of the game. If that's Nora, we're gonna go see her. But if not, then we could be seeing the identity of a real mother, which. I don't know if Nora is that same woman from the beginning of the game or not. I don't know, because I never really I think no. Hang on. No, the woman at the end of the, the beginning of the game, I swear her name was Susan. Susan and Philip, which was the angry, weird, annoying douchebag dad. I don't like it. So this must be a real mother no guard that we're gonna go see. A real mother. Alright, Cole's coming with me on this one. See your authorization. Can you help me out? Look, she's my mother. I haven't seen her in. I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Hmm. Okay. You want to play that game? Seventh floor, room 43. Well, that's one way of doing it. It's a good way of breaking entry, I guess. So far, so good.
What now? Iden. Find a way to open that door. Okie dokie. Right. <clears throat> Damn it, we need to distract the guard, aren't we? We've got to distract the guard first. Okay, no problems. Have a look around. Ready for this one? It's gonna be shocking. Nice, Aiden. Now unlock the door. Come on. Let's go, 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 go. Looks like there's nothing there. There must be something. Hang on. Ah, there's a guard over there. Oh, oh, a guy. Too far away. Hang on. Maybe I can distract the guy. Okay, I get it. I've got to distract him so he comes a bit closer. Guessing that's what I need to do. Um, hang on, is there anything in this room that we can do? Did that not get his attention? Okay, damn it. Um... Gotta be something. Ah, okay. Do need a swipe card. I'm sorry, buddy, but I need to take possession of your body and your ID identification card, please. That'd be nice. Dave Norman. Ready? Cheers for the car, bro. Right. Ah, uh, Jesus. Crazy folk really freaked me out. Can we find room 43 and get the hell out of here? I'm looking for it, okay, Carl? Just chill. That's 44. I think 43 is just around that corner. I think it is. This is either 45 or 43. It's 45. It's the one up from it. A risk I'm willing to take. Going. I need to take the risk. Oh, that's a different woman. That's definitely a different woman. Mom, it's me. Judy.
Come on, Aiden. So this woman's a completely different woman to the woman that remembers seeing the start of the game. So I reckon she was dumped with that family. She now knows. What I did. What are you trying to show me? What the hell is going on? Destroy this thing, Raven. Destroy it now. Emotional one, guys. <laughs> it's reconnected with a real mother. Now we got something of his mother to keep with us at all times. I can imagine how much this is affecting Jody. It's been a really incredible episode so far, guys. Really, really different. I'm sorry, Jody. Back at the CIA or something? This looks like something that the CIA would have. Just look at this place. It's insane.
It's literally insane. I guess we need to get out of here though. Before like we end up having trouble on our case. Condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Beat him. <laughs> George, it's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. So how did we end up here? Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. Oh, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. I just didn't want to give you a chance to use either. What about Nora? What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance, look. I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Where's Cole? Where about Cole? He's at home. He's <clears throat> fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. Did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? I tried to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? So, I looked after you. Loved you. Tried to protect you as best as I could. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. You're asking me to help the people who wanted to kill me? Is that what you're asking me, Nathan? Listen, Jody. Why should I listen to you? You work for them, and you lied to me about my mother and my parents, and for what? The money, or the power, or the fame? Oh, stop that, Jody. You know that's not true. I know nothing anymore. We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infraworld better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. So we've got to put an end to this possible open of the info world but it's been a pretty interesting episode guys we've been playing for two hours now and i just want to say it's been it's been fun and i really really am enjoying it there's a lot that's happened in this episode in this part and we just need to take that like we need to take it on board everything that's happened we've gone from having things like a nice dinner day to destroying a president's life and just wiping out a colony of people to nearly getting killed, to running away, to being basically meeting our real mother that we didn't even know existed. And man, it's been insane. 
But I'm hoping that you all enjoy the episode, guys. I really, really hope that you're enjoying the part. Asitas, I'm having so much fun with this game. It's just, it's mind blowing. The story, oh, it's just so good. And if you are enjoying the story so far and you want to see more on this game, let me know down below in the comment section. I'm not sure how many parts are going to be remaining for this game. I'm pretty sure that there's probably going to be maybe one, two, possibly three, depending on how much is left of the story. Like I said, I do not know because I've never completed the game before, but we have done quite a lot so far. If you've missed out on any of the previous parts, there will be a playlist on the channel. We can check out all the remaining parts so far for the story. So, Asitas, I'm looking forward to doing part six soon. Hopefully, you're looking forward to it too. If you have any game suggestions or anything that you'd like to see here next on the channel, let me know down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you again real soon. Take care.